Hi, this is a tutorial on how to build a simple timer in Xcode. Let's start by opening Xcode and creating a new Xcode project. We'll open a single view application and let's call it timer test. Now let's save it. Uh, open a new folder. Name it timer test and create. Let's go to the main storyboard iPhone and simply add a label just for the title. Drag it in. Let's change it to countdown label. That will just be a title. Let's add add another label and that will be our countdown label it will be our timer let's uh, enlarge the font a little bit now let's go to the view control header and declare that uh, label say IB outlet UI label and we'll call it countdown label now let's go back to the storyboard and make the connections to that label Now we can go back to the header file and declare new ns timer. We call it countdown timer and a new integer that will represent our uh, counter. Go to the implementation file. Open a new method, call it set timer. Here we will define our timer. And let's type countdown timer equals ns timer schedule with target. Set the interval to be a second. Set the target to self. Our selector will be a new method that we will write later. Call it timer run. Nil and set the repeats to be yes. Now let's define our countdown integer. Set the initial amount of seconds to begin the process, say 180. This is our second count. Open a new method, and that will be our timer run method. It will actually run every second. 
and we need to decrease one out of the second count. Now let's extract the amount of minutes from that uh, second count. So we'll divide the second count by 60. Now let's do a similar thing for the seconds. That way we extract. We have an integer that holds the amount of minutes that are left and the amount of seconds to display on our countdown label. Let's declare a new NS string. That will be our timer title, basically. Timer output. NS string, string with format. And let's give it a clock format. One side will display the minutes, and the other will display the second. You'll see it once we'll run the app. And now set the countdown label text value to be our new NS string. Now let's create some kind of a if condition to handle what happens when the time end. So when the time end the second count should be zero and in that case we are gonna stop the clock and stop the NS timer. So our countdown timer invalidates and our countdown timer should equal nil. And now let's call our set timer method from void did load, change that to the iPhone simulator, and go to the void view did load method, self set timer. And make a small modification here. Add the percentage. Play. And there you go, a simple counter.